All right, thanks for tuning in, YouTubers. This is Daniel Strong with another Excel VBA is Fun lesson. Today we're going to dig into a little bit more of the inner workings of a list box. Like, how do you fill them if you just want to custom fill them? Um, you're going to, just like with a combo box, we're going to use the add item, but there are different ways to put things in more than just the first column. And we're going to learn how to do that to fill subsequent columns with custom data, not just slap it on there whatever is on the worksheet already so let's get started today um, we had the list fill range to be our named range called mydb for my database we're going to go ahead and hit delete there and uh, also we're going to take the column headers right here and make that false by double clicking right there so now we have a clean slate sort of what we're going to do is we're going to <clears throat> let's just put our criteria in this cell how about we'll say region, and we're going to, whatever is in this cell right here, in the yellow one, for example, how about east? We only want this to fill up with, <clears throat> with entries that are from the region east. So we have to create a loop. Let's double click on our list box to activate the Visual Basic Editor for that particular thing. Now you'll notice that, uh, you might be able to see it, the sheet 15 which is called list box down here is highlighted and as soon as I click on an ActiveS control on that sheet it it shoves it in that worksheet's um, codes so list box one uh, this is a click event um, not so sure I want to do that come again come to think about it let's go back to the developer tab we'll add a button uh, for some reason let's just let's just add a button here oops I don't want that button do I we want a button from the ActiveX controls, not a form button. More flexible. There we go. So whenever we double click on the button, we're going to do something to our list box. Let's give our list box a name. We'll call it LBX. Um, we'll call it LBX region. And I hit enter to activate that in the name box. So now when we click on it, it's LBX region. You've seen that before double click on this button. So whenever this button is clicked, we're going to run our code. So first we have to get our criteria and that is east. And that is in J2. So uh, let's just say CRIT that's our criteria equals range of J2. We'll close that up. That'll get our criteria in this variable right here that we can use later. Now, uh, once we have that, we'll begin to go a, through a loop all the way through our table here. So, we need to invoke some code here that gives us the last row. So I'm going to copy and paste that. Let's see, um, I'm actually currently using Type Pilot, which is a program where you can actually copy and paste things using keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to actually type LR code and hit spacebar, and it's going to shove that in there. So you might want to get yourself a free version or buy the full version of Type Pilot. It is an amazing tool. So I typed LR code, and it batched out this little paragraph here. So if the bottom row is 1, then you've gone too far, or, uh, and just use the last row will be column or row 2. Otherwise, just use whatever you find for the bottom row. Check out my bottom row or top row uh, video in the basic series if you want to learn more about that. Moving on, though, we have our criteria. We have the bottommost row of our table here, which will be an LR. So now we're going to say for x equals uh, 2 to LR next x at the bottom all right now okay here's where we get started we're going to say as we're looping through we're going to say if uh, if cells x comma and we want to do column two so x co comma two if that equals east, oh, oops, not, not east. If that equals our criteria, which is contained in this four-letter variable here, 
then go ahead and write it to list box. That's just a note to myself. All right. And we have to have an end if. So let's get let's go ahead and debug through this. F8, F8. So our criteria says east unless we change that cell. Uh, last row is row 44. All right. If uh, so, if x is going to be two all the way to 44. So first one. If this is east, then, and we know that's going to be true. So we better start writing our code. So we're going to say um, me dot. And what was our list box name? LBX. Re there it is. LBX region. So we're going to say dot add item. That's our first part. We're going to add item, and that's going to be cells x comma, and so whatever row x is and the first column. So that'll get the date there. Add that item there. Now here's how to add subsequent columns on there. It's a little more complicated. You say me dot lbx region dot uh, list. Do a parentheses and you'll just want to memorize this and then me dot lbx region dot list uh, list count minus one because the list count is always going to be one ahead of what they actually think it is stop that now list count minus one comma and then the column that you want now keep in mind in a list box column one Oh, column one is actually column zero to them, and then so this would be column, we would say one, and that would mean the second column. So for whatever reason, let's see what happens there. So now we have to have that equal to cells x comma column two. So let's debug through that. F8. So we're going to add the item to our list here. We're going to take a peek up there. So the first one is going to be that date there. And then we're going to set the uh, sec uh, the column, what we consider the second column, but they call it 1, uh, to be the list count of that minus 1. List count is 1, so it would be 0, comma 1 break out that second one to be equal to the word east and then we'll just copy and paste this whole mess right here because that's the quickest way to do it paste it a few times all right so don't let that intimidate you we're just going to change this to be column two oops three four five and six and that'll be three four five, six, and seven. So let's see how that does. Uh, we'll scooch this little arrow back here and we'll watch the list box above here. Jones, pencil, 95, $1.99, and whatever that is. And then we'll loop through the next one. Let's see, central is not equal to east, so skip that one. Central, central, West. I'm going to hit F5 and let's just do the whole thing. Ooh, it's done already. So we'll click down here and we see that our list is only filled with criteria that say East. Alright, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, we will go over more. Well, actually, let's, let's, let's do that one more time. Let's fill that with something else. Because just like we showed in the last one, if we have, let's say, Central. Okay, if I click this command button, it's going to fill it with all the centrals, but it's not. It's going to keep the easts in there. So what do we do? We go back to our little Visual Basic thing here, and some at some point before the loop happens, we're going to say me dot lbx region dot clear. That will clear out the list. So if I click this, it will clear out the last one and then run only central. If I put something weird in there. Well, there's no regions that say 654, so that wouldn't work. Uh, let's do west. Doesn't look like there's many of those. So, yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching.